Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, I am just recording this um, to give you all some news. Um, this isn't a news. Uh, this isn't a uh, movie review. This is uh, to stay state of things as they currently are. Um, hasn't been the best uh, 24 to 40 hours for me. Um, and I figure, um, that because I, um, share all of my good stuff with you guys, I would be hypocritical, um, if I didn't share, um, my failures too, um, and... It saddens me to have to tell you guys this, um, but on Tuesday night, I lost my job. Um, they said it was performance based. Um, they said that um, my QA scores weren't where they needed to be, um, simply because I couldn't figure out um, the connectivity piece to the equation, um, which, as I've had time to reflect, is true. I couldn't figure it out, but what they don't understand and what they didn't seem to want to even try to understand is it's hard to understand or hard to know where that middle ground is with the connectivity piece when they constantly tell you in one breath to try to connect to your customers more. But in the very next breath, they tell you, keep your call times under five minutes. It's hard to connect to somebody when you have to take their order, get them out, and be done if you can't kind of try to help them figure out what it is that they need. To be able to do that, you see, you have to be able to talk to them and kind of engage them. They always told me, don't engage them. Uh, don't engage people in conversation that isn't business related. Well, see, I never did that. I never engaged in conversation that wasn't business related. Everything I ever did that was um, connectivity related was business related. I never offered up information that wasn't relevant. Um, so, you know, that's not my fault. I don't feel like that's my fault. Um, I feel like. I let everybody down, and I'm sorry for that. And I know that you all would say, I didn't let you all down because I did the best I could. But I'm going to tell you why I think that I let you all down. I let you all down because every day, or six plus years to be able to get through the days on this job because a lot of a lot of them were rough I love the job I love what it did but there were some pretty rough days in that six years um, you know I felt kind of jerked around by management a lot especially over the last couple months. 
Um, so if you want to get through it, basically what I did is I took a small piece of each and every one of you to help me through. So in essence to me, I let you all down. And I'm sorry for that more than you will ever know. Know that I tried my best. Um, you know, I did everything I could. As I sit back and I've had time to reflect and I've played back because I played back my six years there. Um, and it was a good six years. I, I, I like the people that I work with. Um, you know, I like the job. I'd say 80% of the time, I like the job. But as I look back on it, I went through this whole thing right after it happened, right after I got fired, and a little bit yesterday. About I failed myself. Um, I failed you guys. I failed everybody. <sighs> but as I think about it, I didn't fail. I didn't fail because I never gave up. There's been times they wanted me to give up. They tried to get me to give up, but I just never, I never would. I never quit. The only reason I don't work there anymore is because they told me I don't. They told me not to anymore. I never quit. I never give up. So I didn't quit. I didn't give up. I simply ran out of time. Let me explain what that means now. I say I simply ran out of time because a couple weeks ago they did my review. They said you need to work on this. And my supervisor said, I need you to work on this. Which is again the connectivity piece. And he kinda of gave me some tips to, to do that. And I, I've talked at length with some people about it and kind of took some advice from them and implemented some of those things that some of the advice I was given both by friends, co-workers, supervisors, whatever. And I felt like I was getting better at it. You know, I still had a little ways to go as far as the connectivity goes and I'll be the first to admit that. But I was getting better, I think. At least I felt that way. And my supervisor, when he called to let me know they had to let me go, I give him credit. He talked to me for like 10 minutes afterwards. Um, he listened to me. Um, I didn't throw anybody under the bus. I was classy, I was professional. I could have, but I didn't. Um, he said to me that because when I mentioned that I was working on things that he had told me that I needed to work on, he told me that he had noticed that I was and that he appreciated the fact that I was. Um, but it wasn't his call. Um, because they just pulled, as is what they do, they pulled two random calls and <sighs> just my luck, and I don't know this for sure, but I'm guessing the two calls that they pulled were before the touch base that I had with them. The 
told me, you know, you need to work on it, which I already knew I would need to work on before he even said that. And I was crying before that. Uh, but it's just hard because, you know, when you hear the same shit every night, you kind of get desensitized to it. Yeah, wh whatever. Mm -hmm. This, this, you know, mm -hmm. this is wrong, this is wrong. You know, you, you, people complaining every night. It, it, desensit it desensitizes you to it. So, yeah, whatever. <sighs> um... And so he said he realized he knows I was working on it and he appreciated the effort. He said he appreciated my professionalism when I would, whenever I would work with him. Um, my willingness to be coachable and take feedback and try to implement it. Um, but the final decision wasn't his call. Back to something I was getting to earlier but I lost my train of thought because my brain's kind of been all over the place the last couple days. Um, I think, like I said earlier, that the two calls that they pulled might have been before the touch base happened. Um, and even then, I was still working on the things that ended up getting me fired. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and, you know, I tried my best. I don't think I failed. Now that I think about it, I don't think that I failed. I just simply ran out of time. Um, I don't think, based on the timing of this, and the timing of when, there, when the performance review was, or the touch base, if you want to call it, the one on one with the I don't think that the timing of the firing and the timing of the review were spaced such that I had enough time to try to implement the advice that I've been given by friends and family and supervisors and coworkers and things like that. But I was working on it, and he specifically said that he could tell I was working on it, but it was not his call. So, ultimately, the suits get what they want. They haven't really liked me for like the last year. Because I learned how to advocate for myself and say, I need this, I need to this way and this is why and the suits that run the place seem to put every type of roadblock they could think of in front of me I just ran through it I just ran fucking through it um, this is one like I said I don't think I failed now that I think about it I think I just ran out of, ran out of time. <sighs> um, as for what's next for me, I don't know. Uh, um, I really don't know what's next for me. Uh, I had to call Social Security and let them know about the change in work status. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, to call uh, Cloverhook and let Kevin know that I'm changing work status and they do that tomorrow or Monday. Um, thinking Monday probably. Um, just so I can make sure he's in the office. And as far as what I'm going to do personally, Guys, I've been working almost nonstop for six years. The longest I've went, time off wise goes, over the last six years, is a week at three different points in. 
the six years. Now, this year would have been different because I had a week off in um, April. I was supposed to have another week off in October and another week off in December, so this would have been different. I would have had a little bit more time off. But over the last six years, my longest stretch of time off continuously has been a week. So I've worked, I've worked pretty much non-stop uh, for the last six years. <sighs> so you can take a little time and just do nothing. Um, try to recharge a little bit. Um, you know, this isn't going to help my pain levels any. Because uh, that isn't affected by whether I'm doing anything or not, just because of, you know, how bad my CP seems to be catching up to me these days. Um, but I'm going to take a little time, just do nothing for a while. And after a little bit of time, we'll see what happens. Um, because, you know, there's not a lot of legitimate jobs out there that will let you work out of your house. And I feel like I found a needle in a haystack with this one. And I gave him everything I had for six years. And if I wasn't doing something right, I wouldn't have lasted for six years. just ran out of time. Simple as that. I ran out of time. <sighs> so, I guess I should probably thank you guys for allowing me to take a little piece of everybody with me every day for the last six years. Um, because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to get through it. And I probably wouldn't have lasted as long as I did. And realistically, I probably shouldn't have lasted as long as I did anyway. Because um, they've been trying to get rid of me for literally for two years. I just finally gave them something that they could hang their hat on. And it really wasn't even me. I just ran out of time, like I said, so, <sighs> thank you for everybody, uh, for supporting me, um, for encouraging me when I needed it, for kicking me in the ass when I needed it, and I love you all, um, this isn't the end for me, this isn't the end for us, my journey still continues, um, I don't know where it's going to take us, but I'm glad to be going on it with all of you guys, and I continue to carry you with me, always. So, strap in, because I don't know where we're going, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, wild ride getting there, and uh, bound to hit a few bumps along the way. Again, I love you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I am truly, truly sorry 